Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Easy Tech 231 here. So what I have here is one of the latest additions to the Chromebook lineup, and this one comes from ASUS. So it's a 10.1 inch screen, 1280 by 800. Um, it's built very, very well. In fact, I think this is mainly plastic, but it does have an aluminum chassis, which is nice to give it that premium feel at a very, very low cost. So overall, what can you really expect from a Chromebook? It's a Chromebook. It's pretty much a web browser in a laptop form. So how does this one from ASUS compare to the other Chromebooks out there? Well, let's go ahead and find out. This is the ASUS Chromebook Flip. So what exactly differentiates this Chromebook from all the other Chromebooks out there? I mean, they all pretty much do the same thing and they cost just about the same. So what's really different about it? We're looking at a quad core 1.8 gigahertz Cortex processor, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 16 gigabyte SSD, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.1, and a 10.1 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1280 by 800. So yeah, the resolution doesn't really sound too hot. I mean, 1280 by 800 doesn't really scream retina display quality, but again, this thing is $229 and it's a Chromebook, so these things aren't really known for their amazing displays, except for the Chromebook Pixel. But while I was using this Chromebook, the display quality didn't really bother me too much. In fact, it looks pretty good. It's really not a bad display. So overall, the screen is not too bad and it is a glossy display. Uh, viewing angles are really, really nice and it is a touchscreen. As you saw me do earlier, you can flip it around and use it like a tablet, but we'll get back to that function in a little bit. So because this is a Chromebook, this is centered around those people who really want to get a budget laptop. So when you're buying a $230 laptop, what can you really expect from the build quality? Well, I am happy to say that the Chromebook Flip actually really has some good build quality. But what gives it that real premium look is the aluminum chassis around the whole laptop itself. So the materials that ASUS used along with that aluminum chassis really makes me want to stay away from all plastic Chromebooks from now on. So taking a look around the Chromebook itself, we have an HD webcam up top and dual stereo speakers on the bottom. It's an odd placement, but honestly, with a laptop this small, where else would they put the speakers? As for the buttons and ports, the Chromebook has a headphone jack, micro SD card slot, micro HDMI port, and two USB ports all on the right side. And on the left, you'll find the charging port, some LED indicators, volume rocker, and the power button. Now I know another very important aspect of these really cheap Chromebooks is the keyboard. So how good is this keyboard. At first I thought that the keyboard was going to end up being too small for my larger hands and I thought that typing would feel a little bit cramped. But the keyboard wound up feeling pretty comfortable and keys are nicely spaced out and have a nice solid typing response. I was able to type out scripts, respond to emails and YouTube comments with pretty much no discomfort at all. This is by far the best keyboard that I've used on any laptop this size. Alright, moving on to the trackpad. Alright, so the trackpad is obviously small, but scrolling is fast and responsive. Using it isn't too bad but it can get pretty frustrating. I often opted to tap to click as opposed to regular clicking. And speaking of the clicking, the actual click itself is pretty loud. But overall, it's all right, it's not too bad. All right, so getting back to the screen. Using Chrome OS with a touchscreen is actually pretty great. I often found myself subconsciously using the touchscreen over the trackpad. Scrolling and pinch to zoom work just like they do on tablets. It's quick and very responsive. So it's a good thing that the touchscreen is nice and responsive, but how is using it as a tablet? So as I've shown before, the screen flips all the way around and attaches to the back with built-in magnets. The keyboard nicely disables itself, so pressing keys won't activate anything when in tablet mode. So using a Chromebook as a tablet is a different experience, yes, but it works very well and I enjoy using it in this form factor. Now when you need to type something, a familiar looking keyboard pops up. It's surprisingly usable mostly because of its autocorrect feature. The hinge is also sturdy enough to hold it in this position to make typing on a table a lot easier, although I don't know why you would do this when there's a keyboard a couple inches away. But it's nice to have options. You can also place the tablet in this what they call stand position and here's what they call tent mode, which makes it great for watching movies with other people. So Chromebooks are made to browse the web, keep up with your social media, check your email, and you know, even get some work done. But how does this specific Chromebook handle all of that? Well, as I stated before, this baseline model comes with two gigabytes of RAM and a 16 gigabyte SSD. And with those two gigabytes of RAM, it's safe to say that this thing handles things very well. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty quick and snappy. I can use up to about nine tabs before things start to slow down. So just keep in mind, two gigabytes of RAM. Just because this laptop is fast doesn't mean it's going to be able to handle a whole bunch of things at once. But the things I did put it through, it handled them very well. I used the Chromebook to watch YouTube videos, type out long video scripts, check my emails, shop on Amazon, write some notes on Google Keep, and occasionally stream NBA TV, and of course, 
browse the web. That's what Chromebooks are made for, and this specific Chromebook handled all of that like a champ. Alright, so moving on to battery life. Now, Chromebooks have a good reputation when it comes to battery life because the software that they run, Chrome OS, isn't very demanding at all. The Flip has an advertised 9 hours of battery life, and in my testing, I found that very accurate. I was able to go all day long using the Chromebook on a single charge on full brightness. So, battery life. Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> But that's come to be expected because it's a Chromebook. Now as you all know, not every electronic device is perfect. And this Chromebook is no exception, it definitely has its drawbacks. So there were some instances when I was using the Chromebook and it would freeze for about 5-7 to seven seconds, the screen would turn off for about 1 second, and then everything would go back to completely normal. So it was kind of like a, an occasional technical sneeze if you will. It doesn't happen all the time, but I'm pretty sure it happens when there's a lot of things going on at once. I actually doubt that this would happen on the 4GB model. So if you're trying to handle a lot of things at once, definitely go for the 4GB model. Another thing is, I wish the screen could be a little bit brighter. This is the brightest that it can get. So using the screen indoors is no problem. I can see everything perfectly clearly, no matter where I'm at. But taking the Chromebook outdoors is a completely different story. It's a little hard to see it, even at full brightness. So I definitely would have liked to have seen a little bit of a brighter screen. Another thing I noticed is that when I open it back up and resume use, Wi-Fi has to reconnect. I'm not sure if it's like that on all Chromebooks, maybe it's to save battery, I'm not entirely sure. That's just something I noticed while I was using it. So overall, I really like the Chromebook Flip from ASUS. I mean, it's 229 for a great laptop with hardware that you would expect to find on something that's a little bit more expensive. ASUS proves that cheap price doesn't necessarily mean it has to have cheap hardware. Now again, for just $20 more, you can get the step above this and get the one with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, so I say go for that model instead. It's only $20 more and that 4GB of RAM will be able to handle even more than this guy can. And there you have it, that's the ASUS Chromebook Flip. I love this thing, it, it's a steal. Just go out and get it right now, just... Just do it! Did I really just do that? Alright, so that does it for the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. Also, don't forget to comment your thoughts on this very Chromebook right here. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at EZTech231. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, guys.